there's enough propane here for a year's worth of campfires. We used the propane for cooking and heating our houses. Well, it certainly was helpful of Jasmine to get this ship and guide us here to the Valley of Sleeping Dragons. A little too helpful, if you ask me. What do you mean? Well, why would she go on a potentially dangerous voyage for the sake of people she hardly knows? I am arriving with James Bond Jr. and his companions. Everything is going according to plan. Odd job. Are you ready to welcome our young visitors? <laughs> yes, Dr. No. And it will be a surprise welcome. We're hit! And we're going under! We'll have to swim for sure! Oh, we'd never make it! The current's too strong! We may have no choice. Wait, I've got an idea. Give me a hand. Oh, uh, what are these things? Just help me tie them together. If we rig it correctly, this could be our ticket off this junk. Gee, IQ, it's not that bad a boat. Hold on tight. I'm going to ignite the gas. This is exhilarating. Yeah, almost as exhilarating as having our feet back on solid ground. We made it. There's no fuel to spare. Where's IQ? Uh, up here. I think I see a field of roses beyond this hill. It could be the antidote for Trevor. Let's go. James and the others are having any luck finding an antidote for Trevor. Well, as far as I'm concerned, they can take their time. I think this new Trevor is a major improvement over the old one. I have prepared your lunch as you ordered. That's fine, Trevor. Now you can clean my cabin, wash my laundry, and do my homework. Then come back here and make me a milkshake. I will obey. <laughs> oh, Gordo, you shouldn't take advantage of Trevor's condition like that. What are you talking about? I'm just giving him the chance to make up for all the grief he's caused me in the past. It's a huge field of purple roses, exactly like the one that put Trevor into a trance. And that's not all. Look over there. It's some kind of harvester or weapon. We are next to the field of roses. James Bond Jr. and his friends. What are you doing, Jasmine? Uh, just touching up my makeup. Oh, really? With a radio transmitter? What's happening? I think our presence is not welcome. Uh, that harvester is coming this way and firing a laser cannon. Not a moment too soon. I hope you didn't drop your transmitter, Jasmine. Shh. Quiet. Do you know what to do? Ah, job. That puts the scum label all over this operation. like our flower beds infested by pests. So raise your hands, or we'll exterminate you. <laughs> I wonder how they knew exactly. 
exactly where we were every step of this journey. Easy. By intercepting Jasmine's transmissions to the British Secret Service. I thought you were working for them. No, I am the Shanghai contact for a British agent codenamed Marco Polo. He was recently captured by Dr. No after stealing and hiding some evidence of his latest plot. Evidence which Trevor found by accident. The Purple Rose. Yes. I joined your search in the hope that it would lead me to Marco Polo. Well, you found him. Only now he works for scum. <laughs> what are you cooking up this time, Dr. No? Allow me to show you, Bond. Even as we speak, my henchmen are collecting the gas from my mutant roses in a chamber below this palace. The gas is stored inside those gigantic tanks. Soon, we will use it to make gas bomb missiles, then blanket the Earth with entrancing vapor. Our agents will be inoculated with this antidote, and they will be immune to its effects. Then we will be masters of the world, and everyone else, <laughs> our willing servants. Can he do that? Let me show you. Allow me to give you a tour of the processing plant up close. We're trapped inside some kind of factory. This must be where the roses are processed. Oh, have a look over there. I wonder how sharp those blades are. Looks like we're about to find out. Just what I need. Nice throw, James. It bought us some time, but let's hurry out of here. Help! It's... it's... got me! You're just caught on the corner. Here, IQ. Hurry, Jasmine, grab my hand. IQ, find the power switch. The power switch, right. I should have thought of that. This ought to do it. Wrong switch. No! I can't hold on. Hang on, I've got an idea. If I can just get a good enough aim. Perfect shot. Let go, Jasmine. What? Thank heavens you're safe. Thank James. Now, to cut our way through this door. How? It's solid steel. With this fountain pen. It's a cutting laser. Standard issue for Secret Service agents. Let's go. 